Hi there, my name is Randy McEntee. I'm a flame artist at the Department of External Services and co-founder of Logic.tv. Welcome to Logic Academy. In this video, we're talking about a brand new feature in Autodesk Flame 2022, NDI. NDI, or Network Device Interface, is a software standard that makes it super easy to deliver and receive HD video over computer networks. It's like SDI, but over Ethernet. It's a welcome feature that allows us to distribute broadcast video from remote workstations, whether they are in the cloud or on-premise. In this video, I'll focus on the initial setup and share a few easy and inexpensive ways to enrich your flame suite. Before we dive in, thanks to Autodesk for sponsoring this video. Let's go. First, we need to download NDI tools. As of July 2021, Flame 2022 and Flame 2022.1 support NDI tools version 4.6. Recently, NewTek, the makers of NDI, launched NDI Tools version 5. This version is not yet supported in Flame. Now, I had a hard time finding an official download link from NDI with version 4.6 after they released version 5, so I made one for you. Visit the forums at the link below for Windows and Mac versions of NDI Tools version 4.6. If you've already downloaded NDI Tools version 5 and need to roll back to version 4.6, no worries. Just install version 5 and visit this link for versions 4.6. Now we can launch the Autodesk Flame 2022 setup application and configure Flame to output broadcast video and audio over NDI. When you first launch Flame Setup, be sure you're modifying the correct software version and be sure you have opened the Flame Setup application that corresponds to Flame 2022 or higher. Under the Video and Audio Devices, choose NDI and click Apply. Switch to the Preview tab and choose NDI for the preview device type for any broadcast monitor timings you require for your workflow. I jump around a lot, so I'm just gonna select all of them. Click Apply and we're all set. Let's launch Flame 2022. Under the Flame menu, select Preferences, Broadcast Monitor. Under Broadcast Monitor, enable NDI Output. I'll enable Scale to Fit Monitor, Use Ratio, and Show Clip On Selection. Boom, we're all set. To see NDI in action, let's open the NDI Video Monitor application. This app is like a TV screen for NDI. It allows you to switch between any active NDI feeds on your local network. For example, I have a few feeds here. Here's my tiny PC generating test patterns, my tiny PC sharing its screen over NDI, and my flame outputting video. The application is incredibly simple and easy to use. Pick what NDI source you want to monitor, mute or unmute, and the set path location for where screen recordings are stored. That's what this little red dot is in the corner, instant screen recording. Here's a look at playback. The playback and latency is impressive with only a couple frames difference in sync across my network. If you'd like to monitor your audio locally as well as through NDI, here's how I do it. I use loopback and add the NDI video monitor application, which then feeds my monitors. It's really helpful to see the VU meters work and visualize your audio chain this way. Now that NDI is set up in Flame 2022, what else can we do? With the NDI Virtual Webcam app, you can choose to capture any NDI feed and redistribute it over Zoom, Google Meets, Skype, Microsoft Teams, just like it was a webcam. Using the NDI Scan Converter application, you can capture any application's window and serve that as an NDI feed on your network. If you'd like to use OBS to stream sessions, NDI is supported there as well. Be sure to use an OBS version that supports more than two channels of audio, like Streamlabs OBS, shown here, or OBS Studio Music Edition that supports 16 channels of audio. See you on Twitch? If you have an Apple TV that has App Store capabilities, you can download the Sienna Monitor application. Just like the NDI Video Monitor app, it's incredibly simple to use. Click the Apple remote and choose any NDI feed on your network. Boom. If you have an iOS device, you can turn your phone or iPad into a broadcast monitor as well. V2 
via Sienna's NDI Monitor iOS app. If your feed is looking a little aliased and not quite its best, be sure to visit settings slash NDI Monitor and enable high-res NDI and retina display on your iOS device for optimum performance. And finally, a favorite of mine, Nobi Omniscope now supports NDI inputs and delivers an inexpensive yet robust suite of completely customizable scopes and layouts that are super impressive. Here's a hint. Use the NDI scan converter to capture your Omniscope app and use your Apple TV to visualize your scopes. If you want to pick and mix between NDI and SDI, then BirdDog has a ton of great products that allow you to mix in a little NDI within your existing SDI infrastructure. Well, there you have it. NDI Tools in Flame 2022. If you have any questions or comments, look me up on the forums at forum.logic.tv. If you enjoyed this Logic Academy, let us know. And if there's something you'd like to see, be sure to drop us a line. I'm Randy McEntee, and you're watching Logic.